child of God, to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praise, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Akhafadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Son of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham once again means in the name. Rachat Badash means Holy Spirit. Rachal means Spirit. Badash means Holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I belong to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Never well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. And this lesson is going to roll the title Some Men Won't Be Touched. You know? Uh, what I say, what I mean by that when I say that is, you know, because this devil, you know, he's about to come down with great wrath, you know. Um, there are going to be some men that have to, you know, get um, put in concentration camps. Some brothers are going to be martyred, okay, you know. I mean, you know, some brothers are going to be put to death for the truth, you know, for Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, you know. So, but, check this, and we don't know who they are, all right. Just know something because the scripture says some brothers will. However, right, some brothers will not. Okay. So all all of the elect are not gonna die on this side. Right? You know, there are certain there are some brothers, certain brothers that the Lord that, you know that, that the Lord has it set for that they will not die. Okay. And the Lord has it set up like that, then, you know, no matter what Esau tries to do, they, they can't be touched, okay? You do gotta understand, some brothers are not gonna be touched, man, okay? Some brothers ain't gonna be touched, man, you see? This is all part of the Lord's movie, okay? Because look, when you have a director, okay, you know, in a movie, when you have a when you have a director that you know, you know, directs how the movie is. You know, he has certain characters for certain um, roles and things like that. You know. Now, some characters may be for a certain role, and other characters may be for another role, right? Now, if but but if one if the character you know is moved, you know, then that then that movie can't come out right. You know, that movie can't, you know, continue how it's supposed to be, okay? So it's prophecy, man, that, you know, some brothers, okay, are not going to be touched, okay? Meaning this devil, you know, ain't going to be able to get his hands on, you know, all of the elect. You know, but let me just start off with this scripture first, all right? So, um... says the book of Revelation chapter 20 and verse 4 says and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Shalom. Let me fix the camera. of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So, and we know that, because when you read the verses up, you know, the first three verses above that, it's not talking about the same time period. Get the verse four through six, it jumps, you know, to um, you know, in the future, and then you know, verse seven jumps back, you know, to something regarding the past. But the point being, you know, we 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 know that it's talking about um, 
happen nowadays because it says the mark. Okay, I'm talking about the MOTB, which is the micro C hip. So these certain there's certain men out there that they like that's going to get beheaded. You know, how about shit? How we shot? Okay, and they ain't gonna take the micro C hip. You know, this is prophecy. All right, see, it's prophecy. Man. Okay, now. Does that mean you should fear death? You, know, you should fear Esau? No. Okay? That doesn't mean that. Let me get another scripture real quick. Alright? Comfort. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse, verses. 4 through 5. And I say unto you, my friends, and Yahweh Shai said, this, he, says, and I, he said, And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. That's, all, that's mortal men. Esau is just a mortal man. He just, you know, in power. And that's the only difference. Not to, we're not to fear mortal men, right? Verse 5, But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Okay? Fear him which after he hath killed, hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Right? Talking about the heavenly father. And that hell is talking about uh, a bad condition. You know? The Lord can kill you in the life you live now and bring you back. You know, because reincarnation is a process. You, know? you die, and you go to the spirit world, you receive your judgment, and then you get reborn back, and the Lord can bring you back into the form body. And you have to live in that body, you know, until the Lord. You know, kills you again. Right? The Lord has the power to do that, so we have to fear more than him. Okay? But, you know, we're supposed to fear the Lord, but the point is, you know, there are some brothers that are going to be martyred. Okay? This is a part of prophecy. We read in Revelation 20. So some brothers are going to have to be beheaded, you know? Let me get another scripture that says, book of Revelation, chapter 2. And a lot of Israelites ain't gonna want to deal with this. You know? so I'm an Israelite, you know. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's, it's good, you know, knowing you're an Israelite, waking up to it. Okay, but what about when you know the rest of prophecy takes place? It's the thing about prophecy, man. The world moves according to prophecy. It was prophesied that we would wake up to who we are, right? But you know. It's a lot for any background noise you may hear, all right? I just said that earlier. So I might get interrupted, so it's a lot for you, all right? But, you know, the, the world moves according to prophecy, okay? It was prophesied we will wake up to who we are, okay? It's also prophesied that some of the elect are going to have to be put to death on this side, all right? Before your house shot return, okay? You know, some brothers are going to get, you know, taken. And this is just, you know, the truth, okay? The, uh, you know, the, the hardcore truth, man. Some brothers are going to get rounded up, you know, and taken into concentration camps. You know, and that may not be the end, you know, for every brother, okay? Like, like the brother Tom Lewis says, that might not be, that may not be the end for every brother, man. You know? The Lord may just want to, you know, take you into a concentration camp, all right? Just so you know, you would get spiritual powers and break out, you know, and you know, somebody else's fate, you know, um, pretty much amps up, you know, so, so, so you know, but yeah, you know, that's not, they don't gotta be the end of you, but there are, once again, there are some brothers that are gonna be taken there, you know, etc. This is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, and it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast in some of some of some of you into prison. Okay, and the devil, all right. It's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. All right, it's not talking about that left-handed angel named Satan. All right, the Hebrew Satan, but it's talking about the so-called white man. Because according to the Bible, the so-called white man is referred to as the devil. Okay, the so-called white man. Is physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, okay, you know, so, the 
so-called white man is going to cast, you know, he's going to put some, you know, some brothers into these concentration camps or these FEMA camps, all right? It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, all right? And ye shall have tribulation ten days. That ten days can be any amount of time that you're in there. You could be in there for a week, a couple hours, a couple, like a couple days, a couple weeks, you know. Um, so pretty much any amount of time, right? And here's the thing. It says, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Once again, this this in Revelation, all right, you know, that was being said to you. That was um being written to from John the Apostle, all right, to uh, you know, pretty much. Well, it says in verse eight, the angel of the church of Smyrna, all right, but pretty much you know the head of that church of Smyrna, all right. This was written. You know, this this is locked. So that head of the church of Smyrna. This was written that um, you know, when they were thrown into prison, you know, keep the faith. Right? Today, some of some of the elect, right, are going to be um, put into you know these female camps and set up, you know, but they're to remain faithful even unto death. You see. Thing. You know, Howard Shy was pretty much warning them, you know, about you know like, some of them would be cast into prison, you see. So even back then, alright, but in this time and understand this man, we are put to death for this truth. You know, this would be the last time we die. Because after this, we ain't going to die no more. Let me just get that real quick. This is Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. It says, And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for all the former things are past the wish. And that's for the Israelites. Heaven, all right? Israelites, are right, we ain't gonna be, you know, dying, right, feeling sorrow, etc., all right, anymore, okay, so the point of me bringing these things, those scriptures out is, you know, the fact that, you know, to understand that some of the elect will be put to death, for the truth, okay, you know, we gotta go to a government building, etc., you know, these things, okay, are gonna happen. Thing is, we know about it. You know, we know that it's going to happen. Yahweh Shai himself was, you know, uh, you know, you could say rounded up. You know, he, you know, they came and got him and took him before the high priests and everything. They tortured him. You know, like whipped him pretty much. You know, put the crown of thorns on his head, crucified him. You know, Yahweh Shai had to go through that. You know, guess what, man? The Lord's going to be with you know those brothers that go through that. Okay, all the way to the death. And the elect are predestinated to receive salvation. So that no matter what happens, the elect, all right, are going to make it, you know. The elect are not going to deny the Lord even in the face of death. The scriptures say the Lord won't put any more on you than what you can handle, all right. But, once again, you know, not all brothers are going to get touched. This is the book of Mark, chapter 9 and verse 1. It says, and, and he said unto them, talking about Yahweh Shai said this, see. It says, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai come with power. So there are certain men, certain of the elect, all right, that are here today, 
that will not die. Okay, they are gonna get beamed up, you know, into the chariot being alive, man. They're gonna see how it's trying to come back. Okay? You see? And they're gonna get beamed up. You know? Um Get another scripture real quick. This is and it, once again, we don't know, we don't know, you know, where it'll grow, you know, Lord willing, we even hope to be able to elect, okay, whether we die or whether we live, all right, but you know, we don't know where the ones are going to be martyred, all right, or the ones that's going to um, you know, remain alive, you know, we don't know. We just hope that we could, you know, do as how I said, Matthew 24 and 13, he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? But let me get this in the book of 1 Thessalonians, right? Chapter 4. Start in verse 13. It says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren. ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep meaning you know the ones that have died in how shot right, it says that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope everyone say Because, you know, a brother has said that at camp, you know, some brothers ain't going to get touched. I believe that Brother Tom Ford has said that. This book, this, but this is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, starting at verse 13. It says, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Right? Concerning them which are asleep, right? The ones that, you know, died in Yahweh shine. Okay? There are some of the elect that have already, you know, died. There are some that are going to, you know, it's going to be martyred for this truth. Okay? So this is even concerning them. Right? Verse 14 says, For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will Yahweh bring with him. This is comforting, man. Verse 15, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain that we which are alive and remain that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep okay so you see it says we which are alive and remain mark and I and what there be verily I say unto you know roughly paraphrasing there be some of them that stand here which shall not take to death. So all of the elect ain't going to die, man. You know, people in the world be saying everybody's going to die. No, man. You know, people think all humans are going to come to death. No, man. No. No. <laughs> okay? Not all of Not everybody's going to die. All right? Because are not the elect people. Okay. So all of the elect ain't gonna die. There are gonna be some brothers, right, that Esau don't get, man. You know. And even furthermore, you know, and I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but even furthermore, you know, um, you know, Esau ain't gonna be able to, you know, you know, um, get a hold of certain brothers, you know, be coming against brothers with uh, you know, his uh, foot soldiers. 
know, I eat trucks, you know, all of that, you know. The, the, the scriptures talk about the Lord is going to lift up the standard, okay? You know, you see, the thing is, when all hell breaks loose, all right, you know, brothers are going to, you know, see, we're not, we're not going to have spiritual power to, uh, to the point where we could just, you know, do it if we, you know, use them if we just want to, you know, whenever we want Right, you're gonna have them you know, to where, where you can, you know, Lord, you know, give it, give it to you so you can protect yourself. You know, it's for protection. Okay, because we're not like these niggas out here who trust in a gun or a you know, physical weapon to protect us. Our trust is in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, you know, yeah, this devil is gonna come down and get the brothers. You know, this for souls and tanks and all of that. Some brothers, the Lord will lift up the standard, which that word standard um, goes into, a, I believe, the Hebrew word nawas, which means an escape. You know, and think about that. You know, imagine you sitting in your house and you're just surrounded by 50 you know, troops. You know, how are you going to escape that? How, if you don't have spiritual power, how are you going to escape that? See, Lord, be spiritual power. You can fly away, you know, be invisible. And this is in the Bible. You know, you um, you know, you uh, you, uh, you, uh, you you know, you um, or even you know, give you spiritual powers to even fight back. Okay, I'm gonna get this scripture. Man, let me finish with this. This is First Thessalonians chapter four. <clears throat> Verse 15, it says, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, Shalaki shall not prevent them which are asleep. Okay, so once again, there are going to be some brothers that are going to be alive until the coming of the Lord. And there are going to be some of the elect still living and alive, you know, when Yahweh Shah returns. Okay? It says, it says shall not prevent them which are asleep. And when you look at that word prevent, if you read the Bible, it goes into meaning of proceed or come before. You know? So shall not prevent or come before them which are asleep. You know, meaning you know, we're not gonna, you know, be on the chariot before those that died in your house. God is holding on to his truth and enduring unto the very end. You know, they're gonna be on the chariot first. It's about to tell you. That's why it's, that's why it says that um, shall not prevent them which are asleep. Verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh. And the dead in Yahweh shall Mashiach shall rise first. Okay. Pretty much, you know, the, the, the um, brothers that, um, you know, you know, the elect that you know, die in Yahweh Shai. Once again, you know, when Yahweh is going to be martyrs, right? And even some of the elect that have already died in the Lord, now currently in the spirit world, all right? They are going, when Yahweh Shai returns, they're going to be on the chariot first, okay? Then it says what? Verse. 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You see? So, so, um, you know, they're going to get through this. The elect that died in the Lord, they're going to be in the chariot first, and then. Okay, you know, they gonna be on the chariot um, after. You know, they also like they, you know, well, yeah, yeah they gonna be on the chariot, you know, after. Okay, they gonna get beamed up into the chariot. You see, and, and be on the chariot, you know, and meet, you know, meet up with the rest of the brothers. Okay, and with the Lord. You see. 
but that even in itself proves that what there are going to be brothers here, okay, or you know, some of the elect that are not going to die. Right? You gotta understand, man. The Lord is the one that's in control. This devil ain't doing nothing. This devil, even though he's in power, you know, he, he can talk all he wants. You know, what, you gotta understand. Look, this devil was given the blessing. You know, part of blessing of what? The sword, right? So, you know, even with that, you know, the Lord is still in control. Did not the Lord say this? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter. And verse 39, and it says, But it says, See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I talk about you know, the Heavenly Father, you know. The Lord is the one that said this, right? It says, I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right? So the Lord is the one. That um, wounds, heals, right, kills. Okay, you know, makes a lot. The Lord is the one that that you know controls all that. Right, so this devil he can't do nothing to you unless the Lord allows it. Right, and it's really you know that the devil is so called white man. Right, he is going to you know, be given the opportunity you know to persecute brothers, you know, put some brothers to death. Right, but you gotta understand the Lord is the one that's controlling that. See? Once again, the Lord is the director, man. This devil ain't the director. This devil is just a character in the Lord's movie. You know, this so called white man, he's just a character in the Lord's movie, man. Alright? This devil can't this, this devil can't do anything outside of the Lord's control. Alright? This, this is the book of St. John, chapter 19. All right, it's regarding, it's regarding Yahweh Shai's crucifixion. You know, when he was, uh, Pilate was talking to Yahweh Shai at one point. St. John, chapter 19, starting at verse 7, it says, The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the son of Yahweh. Verse 8. I have therefore heard that saying he was the Lord prayed. Right, verse 9, and when and went against the judgment hall, and saith unto Yahweh Shai, Whence art thou? For Yahweh Shai gave no answer. So Pilate, you know, you understand Pilate was, you know, he had a certain level of power, right? You know, so he went back into the judgment hall and he, you know, asked Yahweh Shai a question. But Yahweh Shai didn't answer. Right? Verse 10. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee, and have power to release thee? So Pilate saying, What? You're not going to talk to me? Don't you know I got power to, don't you know I got power to crucify you? Power to release you? you know, so Pilate is like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to speak to me. Don't you know who I am? You know, don't you know what I can do, for, do to you or for you? So Pilate, you know, is talking about Pride. Okay, and that's how the so-called white man is. He has a lot of pride. You know. So yeah, Esau, look, you ain't gonna be able to get everybody. Alright? Check this out. What did Yahweh Shai say? Reply, verse 11, Yahweh Shai answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except you were given me from above. See? I mean, in the rest of the verse it says, therefore. He that delivered him to be half the greater sin. Alright, but Yahweh Shah said that Pilate could have, could have no power at all against him except the Lord allowed him to be, right? So that proves you can't do anything unless the Lord allows you to. The devil can't harm anyone unless the Lord allows him to. The devil can't get a hold of brothers unless the Lord allows him to. And may the Lord ain't gonna let certain brothers die. Lord ain't gonna let you know some of his elect die on this side, man. Right? You know, you best believe in the brother.
brothers that do have to get martyred. All right, the Lord is going to be there, right, with brothers, man. The Lord is going to be there with brothers, man, to that very end. Okay. You get to get your head. Hey, you may not even feel it. Right. You may not. Right. You may not. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you know, certain brothers ain't gonna get touched. Okay. You know, certain brothers, you know, have um, you know, be pilgrim. You know, Jacob's trouble pretty much you know, moving place to place. I don't want to say the word wandering, but you know, wandering pretty much. You know, brothers gonna have women with them. The Lord gonna still, be. and even even you know, for those brothers that are alive, you know, doing Jacob's trouble. You know, the Lord still gonna provide and protect you. Man. Scripture say the Lord um encampeth round about them that fear Him. The, or the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear Him. Right. Um, the Lord says men is gonna eat and drink and rejoice and sing for joy of heart all right you know the lord is going to take care of his men you know women are the elect going to have you know uh, women run up to him you know begging to be with them you know one protection the lord will give the brother spiritual power to protect him okay but let me get the scripture i was referring to as well This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy, right, and the enemy, all right, is you know, Esau, so we're talking about that. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, you know, when it comes with their, um, you know, uh, CIA troops, you know, martial law, you know, you know foot soldiers and everything, and they come up, when they come against brothers, you know, with that, you know, trying to, you know, get a hold of brothers and everything, okay? It says, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, okay? The Lord is going to lift up a standard, you know, because this is prophecy. The devil is going to come down with that wrath, okay? He's going to come down you know, with the soldiers and everything against you. He's going to do that, you know, and brothers be prepared to see that. You know, I know we used to, um, you know, just live a quiet life pretty much, you know, for a simple, simple life, right? You don't really see stuff like that. But, you know, understand this is a part of prophecy, and this is going to happen. Are going to see, you know, some brothers are going to see, you know, foot soldiers, right, around them, okay, some brothers are going to see the devil come down with, you know, tanks, big army trucks and all of that, but, you got to stay, let this devil, this devil going to do what the Lord allows him to do, right, you know, but, just don't forget what the scripture said, man, the Lord is going to lift up the standard against him, see, you can't, really, you can't really, you can't, really, you can't fear the devil, man. You know, once again, this is the Lord's movie. Get, understand that. This is the Lord's movie, man. All right, this is the Lord's movie. Understand that and realize that this devil can't do nothing unless the Lord allows him to. All right? You know? So, yeah, he's going to come down with that, all right? It's, it's, he's supposed to. It's part of prophecy. All right? Yeah, he's supposed, you know, he's going to get a hold of some brothers. It's a part of prophecy, all right? But it's also a part of prophecy that some of the elect ain't going to be touched. Spiritual powers is coming, all right? And even those brothers that are martyred, all right? They're going to come back. They, they're going to be, they're pretty much, they're going to be in a chariot when your house shot returns, okay? All right? Let's see so this, de so this devil talking about, you know, all the stuff he's going to do rounding brothers up, and, you know, camps and all of that, torture. Man, let this devil talk, man, and do with it. You know, he, 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 this, this devil is prideful. He's all the prideful man, okay? You know? And they're going to have this last little window, for, once again, for them brothers that do um, get martyred, they 
hey, look, man, you're going to be on that chariot first, you know. You, you're going to be on that chariot first, man. Definitely ain't nothing to fear, okay? This devil ain't nothing to fear, man. Right? And once again, some brothers just ain't gonna get touched. This is the Lord's movie, and the Lord has set some of his characters on the right hand side not to get touched, okay? You know, the Lord willing we be, you know, the elect, you know, whether we have to die or whether we um are alive until you how until you how to turn. And guess what? Whether we die, if we're the elect, and whether whether we die or whether we're alive, you know, we're gonna win in the end. Okay, we all going all of us gonna be on a chariot in the end. You know? So I'm gonna end it with this. Okay, this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter fifteen. Starting in verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. How will I be changed? Listen. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Alright? We're going to be changed. We're going to have, um, let me get a quick precept, actually back to this. When the Howard when the Howard Shah returns, the beings of his elect, our bodies are literally gonna change. You know, we're gonna have and we're gonna have bodies like your Howard Shah has now. Okay? And we're gonna have bodies, you know, like your Howard Shah. Alright? And this is what I could get into, I don't wanna jump the gun. That's why I ain't saying it fully. But this is Philippians chapter three, starting verse twenty. For our conversation is is in heaven, from whence also cometh Slaki, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who's verse 21, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. See, so when Yahweh Shah returns, he's going to beam up his elect. All right. It says, just for none unto him shall the gathering of the people be. All right, he's going to be up his elect. He's going to gather them, he said, man, 24, from all over the world. He's going to beam them up, right? And their bodies are going to change. The twins are going to die, as we just read, right? So it says, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to do all things unto himself, all right? So, um, Back in 1 Corinthians 15 and 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Verse 53, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. See that? We're going to have incorruptible bodies, you know, and bodies, and, and plus, you know, because our, our spirit, all right, is going to, which is, you know, basically us, you know, we're going to be, we're going to have, because right now we're living in these, um, corruptible bodies, these mortal, mortal bodies, you know, that can die. Our spirit is going to, um, be in bodies that can't die, that will never die, that don't get, that don't get hurt, don't ache, all right, don't decay, don't, doesn't, don't grow old, you know, it's a lot of, doesn't bleed, alright? Like I said it already. Okay? You know, we're gonna feel good in those bodies, man. Alright? You know? So this is so and we need this change, alright? Because with, with that, you know, the fact that we're gonna be immortal, alright, shows you that you know that's when a new covenant is gonna be activated. Because right? the wages of sin is death. Death is breaking the laws of death. It's like the weight, it's like the wages of sin is death, and sin is breaking the laws of the commandments. So, what you get for breaking the Lord's laws of death, and what you get for keeping them, 
Alright, 100% is life. Immortality. You know, we'll never break them again, which is why we'll never go out of power. Alright, and, you know, we'll, once again, we'll never break them. Alright? You know, therefore showing you that we're forever going to be immortal. Immortal means death is undying. So therefore, we'll never go out of power. You know? That just in itself, you know, you can see. Um, you know, what are these nations going to do? They can't kill us. They can't beat us. They're going to have to submit. All right? I believe Apostle Carr said something like this. I forget how he said it. But, you, know, you get the idea. It's back in 1 Corinthians 15 and 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. All right? Amen. That's the lesson pretty much, all right? The world was the most edifying. And you saw, man, we ain't gonna be able to be everybody, all right? But understand, man, you, you, the Lord gonna allow you to do, you know, have this little window to do certain, you know, some stuff, all right? But your ass gonna go to slavery, man. All right, your ass going to slavery. You're gonna be a slave for a thousand years. After that, you're gonna get burnt off the face of the earth, okay? So you wanna do what you do. It's only gonna be for a little bit of time, right? Um, brothers, whether we live or whether we die, go with them, hold on to this faith. Okay? This faith is our most prized possession, man. All right? It really is. Okay? I don't care if you lose your life. You, know, you can lose a house, a car, your money, your job, your wallet, you know, your keys. Talking about completely family, friends, loved ones, you lose all of that. No matter what, you do not lose your faith. Life depends on you. Alright? So, so with that, I want to give all the praises on and glory to the right that belongs to the Yahweh, Mahashim, Yahweh Shai, Mahashim, Yahweh that belongs to the Apostle, the Holy Spirit, no story ever. Great millstone, and we well, please bless the disciples, the elect, shall the walk for the elect.